Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to create this part in FreeCAD. It is a simple part, so this video is suitable for beginner users who are encountering FreeCAD for the first time and want to learn the absolute basics of 3D modeling in this system. Before we start, just a quick note, you'll find links to my FreeCAD courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now I will switch to FreeCAD and using this simple example, I will show you a few basic 3D modeling operations in FreeCAD. FreeCAD will start with this window and here we select parametric part. We are creating a parametric part. 3D modeling in FreeCAD is based on features and parameters, meaning this model is parametric. This has the advantage that during modeling and after finishing the creation of the 3D model, we can introduce changes and the model will be adapted to the changes introduced. This can be useful especially in cases where we manufacture parts based on designed 3D models. Then if after making the part it turns out that minor corrections are needed, some dimension needs to be changed, we can do it without having to create the model from scratch. FreeCAD gives us such possibilities, so it is worth knowing about. Working in FreeCAD consists of creating a 2D sketch, that is, a flat drawing, a flat geometry, and based on this geometry we build a 3D model. We can build the 3D model in stages, meaning we can actually assemble it from such simple stages, and by adding subsequent stages of the 3D model, the model can become increasingly complex. Here, we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. We will draw a rectangle whose first corner will lie at the origin of the coordinate system. We hover over this point, click the left mouse button, and enter the dimensions of this rectangle. For example, 40 by 30 millimeters. OK. We close the sketch. Now, based on this sketch, we will create a solid with a height of 5 mm. We do this using the pad operation. Select this operation. Here we specify the part height. We enter 5 mm. If you click the left mouse button next to this field, the preview will be updated. Click OK. And we have such a simple solid. Now we will create the next stage of this solid. We will create another sketch. We will create the next sketch on this face. Select this face and choose Create Sketch. Now this face is the sketch plane. Here we will create another rectangle, but I would like to constrain the edge of the rectangle to the edge of this solid. To do this in FreeCAD, we first need to create reference geometry to the solid. Select the External Geometry command. We click on this line. And now we select drawing a rectangle. We place the first corner of the rectangle in this spot. Then we move the cursor over this line, and this line is constrained to the reference geometry. Here we enter the dimension of the rectangle. Here I enter 5 millimeters and press Enter. I do not change this dimension. I leave 30 here. I press Enter, and we have something like this. We could also approach this a bit differently, perhaps even a bit more correctly. I pressed escape to cancel the rectangle drawing command, I select this dimension and press delete. Now we will simply apply a constraint here. That is, we will constrain this point to this line. I select the point, select the line and choose the coincidence constraint here. As you can see there is no dimension here, but this sketch is fully constrained, fully defined because we applied a relation here that specifies that this side of the rectangle will be linked to this edge of the solid. In the previous case, we had a specific dimension. This rectangle was 30 millimeters here, and in this example, everything matched up. But in a situation where we change the dimension of this plate, this sketch would not be correct. In this case, the sketch is linked to the edge of the solid, and then if we change the dimension of this plate, the dimension of this part of the solid will also change. Actually, I will show you this with an example. I will press Ctrl Z now, and here I define the dimension of this side of the rectangle as 30 millimeters. Everything is okay here. I close the sketch and create another part of the solid to a height of 40 millimeters. Okay, now we have a situation where I need to change the length of this dimension from 30 to, for example, 35 millimeters. I go to edit the sketch based on which this part of the solid was created and change this dimension. I double click the left mouse button, enter the new value and close the sketch. 
Now this solid looks like this. The width of this part of the solid is strictly defined at 30 millimeters, and here this dimension is 30 millimeters, and does not change along with the change of that dimension. If we want this part of the solid to adapt to that part of the solid as well, we need to make minor changes here. I will go to edit this sketch, remove this dimension, and do what I did in the previous case. I select this point, select this line, and choose the coincidence constraint. I close the sketch, and now this part of the solid has been adapted to that part of the solid. And now if I go to edit this part of the solid and change this dimension from 35 to, for example, 40 millimeters, this part of the solid has also been adapted. So, by the way, I also showed you how you can change dimensions and how you can adapt the model to new dimensions. These are exactly the kinds of things we can do in FreeCAD. Now I will create another part of the solid. I will create a hole on this face. I select this face, and on this face, we will create a sketch. This face is the sketch plane. Here we will also start by creating reference geometry. We will create reference geometry based on this edge and based on this edge. I switch to section view, meaning the view on the sketch plane. I click the right mouse button to cancel the reference geometry command. Here I select drawing a circle and draw a circle more or less in this spot with a diameter of 8 millimeters. Simply click the left mouse button, type 8, and press enter. Now I click the right mouse button to cancel this command. I drag the dimension a bit so it doesn't obscure this point. And I will place this point symmetrically between these two points. I select this point, select this point, and finally select the center point of the circle and choose the symmetry constraint. Now the position and diameter of the circle are fully described. The sketch turned green. I close the sketch and based on this sketch, we will create a hole in the solid. We will do this using the pocket operation. Select this operation. Here we specify the pocket type as through all. To create a through hole through the entire solid, we click OK and we have a hole created in the solid. This type of hole has the advantage that if the thickness of this part of the solid changes, the hole will still be a through hole. Now I will show you two more simple operations. We will create chamfers and fillets. These are the fillet and chamfer operations. First we create a chamfer on this edge, select this edge, and choose the chamfer operation. Here, enter, for example, 2 mm as the chamfer dimension, and click OK. Next, we will create edge fillets. We can approach these operations in such a way that we first select the operation, and then indicate the edges we want to chamfer or fillet, or first indicate the edges to be chamfered or filleted. Now we will do it so that we select the fillet operation first. Just before you do that, click the left mouse button outside the solid to make sure all edges are deselected. Select the fillet operation. And now we simply indicate the edges to be rounded. We indicate these edges. Let's select this edge here as well. Specify the radius as, for example, 10 millimeters. And click OK. In this simple way, we created such a part. You learned the basic 3D modeling operations in 3D CAD systems. I know this is a simple example, but with this simple example, I wanted to show you the principle of creating 3D models in parametric 3D CAD systems. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like more videos like this, consider subscribing.